Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week 17 at the Parc des Princes, where leaders Paris Saint Germain recovered from successive defeats to Strasbourg and Bayern Munich by claiming a 3 1 win over Lille to secure the symbolic title of autumn champions. Kylian Mbappe teeing up Ankel Di Maria for the opener on 28 minutes, a second goal for the Argentine in his 10th league start of the season. The second arrived on 49 minutes, courtesy of another Argentine, Javier Pastore. He and Di Maria could well leave the capital club in January, this though a timely reminder of their quality. PSG gave themselves a bit of a fright late on as they allowed Lille to pull one back, and were El Ghazi coming off the bench to grab his second of the campaign, but Mbappe had the final word for PSG after Lille goalkeeper Mike Mignon came up for a late corner. The 18-year-old sprinting the length of the pitch to grab his sixth of the season until a 3-1 win for Paris. They are autumn champions for the fifth time in seven seasons and remain nine points clear of Lyon, Monaco and Marseille at the top. Well, Lyon remained second on goal difference after a rather fortunate victory away to Amiens. The hosts took the lead on just nine minutes. Serge Gakpé poking home after a mix-up in Lyon's defensive ranks, his first of the season. But Lyon equalised 11 minutes from time through rising star Hussein Awa. A fine finish from the 19-year-old youth product after a neat one-two. And after Gael Kakuta missed a late penalty for Amiens, Awa grabbed an injury time winner for Lyon as he turned in Mariano Diaz's superb cross. 2-1, it finished. Champions Monaco also required a dramatic late comeback to get the better of Troyes. The promoted side gifted the opening goal by Daniel Sabasic, a simple finish for Hyun Jun Suk. And the South Korean doubled up five minutes into the second half. Another nightmare moment for Sabasic and Suk moving on to five goals for the season so far. The Monaco fight back began in the 70th minute. Thomas Lamar making his first appearance since late October, seeing his cross turned in by the unfortunate Mathieu de Plagne. But substitute Guido Carrillo was the real hero for the champions. The Argentine equalised on 85 minutes, heading in Jean Moutinho's cross, and he nodded in again three minutes later to seal an unlikely victory. 3-2, the final score. Marseille had a much more straightforward time of it at home to Saint-Étienne as they kept pace with Lyon and Monaco in the battle for second. Valais-Germain finally getting his first league goal for the club since his summer move from the Principality. Germain doubled up on 71 minutes after Lever had Ronayel Pierre-Gabriel sent off. Florian Tovan with a league-leading seventh assist of the campaign. Lucas Acampos came off the bench to add a well-taken third. All too easy for Marseille. Alarm bells ringing for Saint-Étienne. Nantes are now eight points adrift of Marseille in fifth after their five-game winning streak at the Beaujois was ended by Nice. Yassine Bamou got the Canaries off to a flying start with his first league goal this term, but Nice had managed to respond before half-time. Alassane Player heading in his fifth of the campaign from a corner. And Mario Balotelli then grabbed a superb winner on 75 minutes, his first-time strike leaving Cyprian Tatarasano rooted to the spot. Number nine of the season for Nice's number nine, and they're now up to eighth place. Rock bottom mess came agonisingly close to a first home win of the season against Rennes. Florent Mollet putting them ahead with a stunning strike on 41 minutes, his first in Ligue 1 Conferama. But Rennes equalised with just three minutes of normal time remaining through Firmin Mubele. Mess are now 13 points from safety, while Rennes remains sixth. Angers are the only other side in Ligue 1 who've yet to win on home soil this term as they played out a ninth draw in 17 outings against Montpellier. Isaac and Benza putting visitors Montpellier ahead six minutes into the second half. Angers rescued a point thanks to a wonderful goal from top scorer Carl Toko Akambi, a lovely double one-two before sweeping in his seventh of the campaign. Toulouse claimed their first win in seven games after getting the better of Caen. The home side went ahead on the hour mark as Ola Toivonen's effort was deflected into his own net by Damian De Silva. It turned out to be a night to forget for De Silva, who later conceded a penalty. Toulouse had missed three spot kicks in their three previous games, but after being brought down in the area, Max Alan Gradel held his nerve to hand them a precious 2-0 victory. Gangon claimed back-to-back -back league wins for the first time since October 2016 as they eased past 10-man Dijon. The visitors had Osama Haddadi sent off on 12 minutes and never recovered. Jimmy Brion putting Gangon ahead on 37 minutes before Yanis Salibur doubled their advantage just three minutes later. 
Home captain Brion capped a fine performance as he teed up Marcus Coco for goal number three, his first of the campaign. And Christoph Kerbra completed the route with his first ever top flight goal, 4-0, a carbon copy of last season's game between the two sides. Finally, Strasbourg proved that their excellent victory over PSG last week was no fluke as they swept aside a hapless Bordeaux. Stefan Bauerkamp firing in a superb opener on just two minutes before Manisman clearly buoyed by his winner against Paris and getting his third of the season. The second goal was even better. Dimitri Lienard with a pinpoint free kick. Absolutely no chance for Benoit Costil. And number three wasn't bad either. France under-21 international Martin Terrier racing the length of the pitch before applying an ice-cool finish. That's now three wins in five for Strasbourg, who were up to 12th. Bordeaux, with just one victory in 10, slipped to 14th. So all of the results from week 17 with 31 goals scored. The top four all claiming victory, although Lyon and Monaco left it rather late. Another superb performance from Inform Strasbourg and Nice grabbing three consecutive wins for the first time this season. It's as you were at the top with nine points separating autumn champions PSG from Lyon, Monaco and Marseille. There's now an eight point gap down to Nantes in fifth. While those three wins have seen Nice surge from 18th up to eighth. Gangon also back in the top half. Messi's draw against Rennes at least prevented them matching the lowest ever points total at this stage of the season, four, but they're still a whopping 13 points from safety. Apart from that, it's mighty close down at the bottom with only three points separating Lille in 18th and Amiens in 11th. 15 teams will be involved in the League Cup last 16 this week before Ligue 1 Conferama returns on Friday with Saint-Étienne Monaco. Saturday sees PSG travel to Rennes, but the big game of the weekend is Sunday night's Olympico between Lyon and Marseille.